Alright YouTube, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while so I wanted to um, like talk about what's been going on in the last few months. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're looking to build a website and have everything in one place, you should try out Squarespace and I will talk more about them later on in the video. So you might be able to see around me I'm surrounded by sweaters. Uh, my studio is kind of a mess because we are in the process of packaging all of the Moon Witch t-shirts and sweaters. Sorry, it's kind of blown out. It's really bright in here. <laughs> but they turned out so nice and Steven printed them for me. And I just love, like this is a 3X and I love how much, how large the design is. I don't know, I'm very excited about these and I'm happy to finally be shipping them out. We've already shipped out about two thirds of them. So uh, there's just a few left that we need to finish. So I'm really excited about those. There are some leftovers and I'm gonna be ordering more shirts so um, I can update my shop again, probably next month because the holidays are crazy and I, I'm already worried about these packages getting to their destinations, so I don't want to try and like ship any more right now. So yeah, I'll be adding those to my shop uh, probably in January. And in January, I think I'm also going to be using the same design uh, on the same screen so that we can print um, calendars. And I want to do a lunar calendar, so um, just a simple like one big page um, calendar of the moon phases. So I think it'd be really cool. And I've never made a calendar before, so this will be my first one. So the reason I wanted to make this video for you guys today is because I recently ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Blick. Uh, I actually ordered these a while ago, I think back in October. And um, I received most of it, but I also purchased a large easel and that there was a whole big mix up. Um, they shipped one easel and um, I hadn't heard anything about it moving in a, over a month. So I emailed Blick and they shipped another easel and then the first easel finally arrived and now I have two of them. So I might be doing a local giveaway. I wish I could do an online giveaway, but this thing is huge and shipping it's gonna cost so much money. So. I'm probably going to do a local giveaway, but I don't know yet, but someone somewhere is going to get an easel. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys what I got. I had to get rid of the box it came in because we were using it to store the orders that we were shipping out. But I'm just going to hold up each item, I think. So to start, I'm just going to show you guys like the paints and stuff that I got first. Um, here I... I, so I want to start doing more acrylic paintings and gouache. So a lot of these things are going to be for for those. Um, not a lot of watercolor materials. So I got this Blick Artist Acrylic Remover um, just for cleaning my brushes because I've never really been very good at cleaning my brushes. Especially with acrylics, it's really hard to get all of it out when it gets all up into the bristles like at the top part so um hopefully this will help i'll definitely be showing you guys all of these products in more videos um, when i'm using them so we'll see how this works i also bought some liquitex slow dry medium um, this is helpful for acrylics uh, if you want them to dry slower so you can blend them easier it is a lot of filler though, so like you don't want to put too much. I haven't used this very much, so I'm excited to try it. I, and I only bought a few paints because um, I'm okay with using student grade paints. I actually really don't mind uh, Liquitex Basics and the Blick brand. Um, I already have a big tub behind me of acrylics for that brand. So I didn't want to really go all out and buy like high-end artist grade paints but I did want to get a few colors that are really important from what I've learned in school and um, they're really good for mixing and just colors that I use pretty often. So um, this first one is just a large Liquitex Payne's Gray 
and I really wanted to get a couple of gray shades, which I know a lot of people are probably gonna say like, why would you get gray? You could just mix gray. But I think it's really fun to add, have grays pre-mixed and add them to colors uh, to mute them a little bit. It's one of my favorite ways to mute colors besides adding the uh, complementary color. I think it's it's really fun. And especially with watercolors, it adds a lot of texture because the grays usually have a ton of texture. So maybe it'll work the same with acrylics. And I got a couple of grays, so that's the first one. This next box is Golden brand. So in here I got a uh, Quinacridone Crimson. This is a paint that when I took a color mixing class, this was like the most important color we could get. Um, it was also very difficult to get, so I wanted to make sure I had that in my paint arsenal, I guess. Um, and then I got a neutral gray, kind of boring. And parchment, which is like an off-white, kind of like grayish um, tan color. Like I said, they're just for mixing and adding in uh, some muted color to the colors that I'm using because I tend to use two saturated of colors and I'm trying not to use colors straight from the tube. So um, getting a lot of neutrals and grays like this helps me a lot with that. <laughs> and then the last one I got was this Blick you know, this is the artist grade paint that I use all the time, or sorry, student grade. Um, there's this one and then there's the Liquitex Basics. Um, and this is the Payne's Gray in this brand, which I've never seen in person. Um, I know Michaels carries the Liquitex and Blake has their own, but um, they usually don't have this color. So I wanted to make sure I got that one also. So that's it for the paints that I got. Um, I think later on I will probably slowly move into working with artist grade paints but for now while I'm experimenting I don't really want to spend like eight dollars a tube for acrylics right now. I've, I've used a lot of the student grade stuff and like most art supplies it's not as great but you can still work with it. It's just like slightly more difficult but if you know what you're doing, it's not that bad and you can save a lot of money. I think once I start moving into like larger paintings and more finished work, then I will probably upgrade because uh, that's when you want the higher end paints that will last longer and be more light fast. So for practicing, use whatever you want. It's fine. <laughs> All right, and uh, I think in my last video when I was using the gouache, I was talking more about bristled paintbrushes. So I wanted to get a bunch more to try out. Um, and then eventually I could use these with oil paints when I decide to try those again. Uh, so for now, these will probably just be for like gouache or even just for, I think you can use them for acrylics too, so it's fine. Um, so I got this bag these this one's not in it so I got this set they are the bristle brushes and I believe these are like the filbert shape I'm not really sure hold on short filberts and these are the Princeton refine brushes um, they were pretty inexpensive compared to the other ones that I found and um, a little bit higher end than the ones you can find at like Michael's, which I also bought some here <laughs> just to try out more. Um, they're long handled and they seem pretty nice. I really like the shape and if you didn't see my last video, I feel like these kinds of brushes are very helpful for thicker paints. Um, I found a difference when using oil paint and gouache that it holds a lot more paint than like a synthetic brush does. And I don't know, the paint just goes further. Like it spreads it easier and um, it's like a whole new tool when you have this kind of bristle. So 
I would recommend anybody who uses gouache or oils especially to use this kind or try it at least. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up doing oils again one day. I got this brush. This is just Blick Mega Brush, white nylon flat in a size 50. Um, a little, a little soft. Um, I just wanted something, I got another one, but I wanted something soft for, you know, doing backgrounds and larger paintings for just getting a lot of paint on the canvas. <laughs> so there's that. I forgot, I didn't really tell you what sizes I got. So of the short filberts, I got size four, eight, six, and 12. The regular filbert I got eight, and then this square one, let's see it there, size one. And that would just be for little details and stuff. All right, next brush is this giant one. Just like that last one I showed you. It's a little jiggly and I like it. Um, but these brushes, these are the really inexpensive kind that you can get at Michael's. Um, Simply Simmons XL flat brush in size 70. This is gonna be for applying uh, gesso and, you know, putting primer stuff over top, stuff underneath, whatever. It's just a big brush that's really soft. All right, and then there's one more bag here of the same brand, Simply Simmons. Um, I don't know, I'd, I'd rather, you could go to Michael's and get these. I ordered them because the ones at Michael's are usually all messed up. Like kids put their gum on it or like rip them apart a little bit. I don't like it. So I got these ones. These are all more of the bristle brush type. Um, I got some more filberts. Cause these are actually even more inexpensive. And yeah, so these are size six, four, two, eight, and another eight. These two are the same size in different shapes. And then this one is uh, three quarters of an inch oval wash brush. And I got this for blending. Um, this is a technique used for oil paint where you take a dry brush and you just like rub it in between two colors and blend. But you don't want to get too much paint on that. It's got to be dry. And then this one, this is the same kind of brush that I got. It's a one inch one round mop but I got it for blending also. I think it's synthetic. I'm not sure. I got a few more things here. Um, this is a plain air palette. It's glass and it's already tinted gray or it's, it's got a gray opaque layer to it so that when you're mixing your colors, gray is like, this is the most middle gray and it's not going to make your colors look different uh, based on the palette you're using. Um, it's meant for plain air, but I got a larger one for my studio because I really like mixing on glass. But then I also got this giant palette. It's just a really large plastic um, mixing palette. Uh, this brand is Jack Richeson, 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 uh, and it's 13 by 18. Um, I think sometimes if you're painting really big, it's good to have a lot of mixing space, especially when you're doing like a lot of one color. I just like to make sure I have enough space. <laughs> and then the last thing I got was the easel. Um, I'm just going to put a picture of it here. Uh, I have not built it yet, so I'm going to be setting up the easel in the corner and maybe bring the couch up here just to have like a little hangout area um, because I do want to start doing larger paintings and I'm going to have that whole wall to do some painting. So, but if you are local to the Bay Area and you're interested in my giveaway for the easel, the extra easel, um, make sure you check my Instagram. I'll post about it soon 
um, when I figure out what I'm doing and um, maybe you can win it. <laughs> I'm sorry to anybody who's not local, I'm sorry. Maybe I can do another giveaway for YouTube pretty soon. I am building a computer. Usually I'm a Mac girl. Um, I have used Mac since like 2011 because they required it when I went to school and I love Mac, but you cannot play certain video games on it, most video games, honestly, and they are also really expensive. So I finally decided to build a PC. My goal is to start streaming art, painting, and playing video games because I love playing video games. I haven't had as much time as I would have liked to play in the last few years. And now that, you know, we're still in quarantine, we're still dealing with this pandemic, um, now's the best time. I mean, it kind of sucks right now because everybody's trying to build a computer and uh, parts are really hard to get right now. But my RAM was just delivered yesterday and I can finally build it. And we're also gonna, you know, play video games. Um, I really wanna play Among Us because I haven't been able to on my Mac and the phone just doesn't seem the same. And I've been so obsessed with watching. Um, there's a bunch of streamers that started playing Among Us and it's so funny. And I've never really been one to like hang out on Twitch all the time and now I do and it's just, I love it, I don't know. If you're one of those people who watch uh, like Valkyrie and Saikuno and Corpse and Toast playing, um, I love them, they're hilarious. And if you're looking for entertainment, go watch their streams when they play Among Us. Also, if you don't know what Among Us is, it's like a werewolf type of game, but on the computer and you're like little astronauts. So it's pretty cute. Um, I picked up a new hobby. You guys might've seen it in one of my last two videos, um, but me and my friends, started making bracelets and like jewelry making and stuff. So I'm actually wearing two of them right now. Um, let me show you. This wooden one here has uh, amethysts here and these are like angled amethyst beads. I really like them. And then this one is like a double wrapped one. Hold on, let me take it off. It's kind of big and then you just wrap it around your wrist twice and it looks like that. And it's got a little charm. I don't know. These are my favorites right now, but I've made so many bracelets and like too many to wear. I have too many bracelets. So I might like start putting them up on Etsy or something. Cause I really enjoy making them, but there's no way I can wear them all. So, uh, and the last thing is I was contacted by Fall Raven. Those, the brand that makes the Kenkin backpacks. I'm sure you've seen them. I always have them around, um, but they wanted me to paint on five backpacks for an auction for charity. So, so they actually had me come pick up the backpacks and I'll show you guys the colors that I got. Dark gray, can't see it out, but this one, this is like a light gray. And then I got a blue blue. This pink, which is, I actually have this backpack but larger. This yellow one, yellow liquor. And I get to paint on those. I'm going to spend the weekend painting on these. Um, they're kind of already made of like a canvas material, so I'm probably going to plan out my designs and prime only the areas that I will be painting on, either with gesso if it needs to be colorful or um, just like a matte medium, probably. This one I'm planning on doing something witchy. It's probably gonna be either plants or flowers or something, maybe roller skates. Blue is also flowers, but pink ones. And then the grays, I'm probably gonna do like, a, I wanna do one with gold, like a metallic gold. And then I wanna do one with simple like line flowers like draw like doodle black or white flowers i don't know well i hope you guys enjoyed this video please stay safe out there wash your hands and happy holidays thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video
again. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the sponsor for this video. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it is an all-in-one website building platform that allows you to do everything in one place. I've been using Squarespace for a few years now and I have also been using it as my online store and it's by far the best decision I've made for my business. It's so convenient having the shop right in my website. You can even purchase your own domain and have your blog and everything right there on your own website so you don't have to use any third-party websites or anything like that. It's really convenient. Squarespace really caters to artists, which is the biggest reason I switched over to them a long time ago. They have a lot of website templates that work really well for portfolios and galleries. There are specific ones that are made to emphasize and show off your work. You can even create private pages that are password protected so you can share work with your client instead of having to upload things in your email and everything like that. It's pretty helpful. Along with having the online shop right there on your website, they also have a point of sale option where you can sell items in person through your shop and use the same inventory. It's so much more convenient. For so long, I used to have to create a separate inventory just for selling at shows and at art walks, completely separate from my online store so that I wouldn't run out of anything without knowing. But the point of sale option, but the point of sale option is so much easier. So if you want to try out Squarespace, they have a free trial. And if you like it, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline to get 10% off your first purchase. There are going to be links in the description below so you can try it out for yourself.
Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know the flash was on. Well, now you know. <laughs> he doesn't even.